Hi, this is Jeannie from Hot Threads South Dakota. I'm also Hot Threads South Dakota on Instagram. If you're interested, you'll see a lot more of my work and what I do. I love mixed media. I love art dolls. I pen pal. I weave. I'm a I'm also a fiber artist, more of a fiber artist than I am mixed media. Mixed media is new to me. I had a big cluster with the video that I just um, had with the paint. The paint's several years old. <laughs> and when I tried to edge around the circles here, it just got all gloppy and gloopy. So hopefully I can resurrect this. This is supposed to be a um, swap. It's a journal tip-in. And it's half, an eight, half of an 8.5 by 11 piece of paper. I use copy paper. I cut it in half. I overlaid it with the pattern instructions and the pattern tissue on top. And then ran it through the cuddle bug to emboss it. And then I've put the girls on the circles and I also tried to glue myself onto this piece of paper with the trim. So yeah, it was a big cluster and I'm too embarrassed to show that video. Uh, let's see, what else can I say? Oh, my sister is T's Carta Studio. T-E-E-S Carta Studio. She just threw up her first video today. Well, she didn't throw it up, but she just placed it up onto her YouTube channel. And she's very creative with paper arts, paper crafts. And we, you will see us with collabing a lot. We live together, and I think that's awesome. We also have mom with us, and I have a dog named Lexi. She's sitting beside me. She's a Morky. She's part uh, Maltese and part Yorkie, and she's 100% Terrier. I love that attitude. We rescued her, and she was four years old when we, res we, we rescued her. I can't even talk. And I have not ever, ever looked back. I, she was wonderful. All my dogs that I've had, I've rescued. So I keep saying that Lexi and I waited four years for each other. And that is so true. Why am I doing videos of my, my art or what I think is art or whatever my mess is? It's because my fan, friends and family, they always have questions. Well, how did you do that? What did you use? What did you do? So they've encouraged me to do um, videos. In this day and age, as crazy it is, as it is, you know, we're not guaranteed to make it through. So I thought, well, I'll have some videos for my family to look back on and see how crazy I am. I was a nurse. I had to retire due to the fact that I had uh, woken up with a migraine that never went away. I've tried everything from medications to procedures, even some procedures that were experimental and were out of my pocket. Yeah, unfortunately, none of them worked. I live with six or seven pain level and have um, a roller coaster where I'm at 10 plus several times a week. I'm not saying that for you to feel sorry for me by any means. What I'm trying to say is that this mixed media has been a godsend. I can do one layer and walk away in one layer, you know, is just a few minutes. And then I can come back when it's dry and do my next layer and then walk away and continue on. It's just been wonderful. Plus, you can be messy. You can have paint up to your elbows or whatever you're working with. I love it. You don't have to be neat and tidy. And I am not neat and tidy when I do my, my art projects, that's for sure. I do know how to paint and draw. My dad was um, actually taught by Oscar Howe. He's a South Dakota Native American artist. My dad was a talented artist and was placed in his, um, as one of his, I guess, what am I trying to say? My mind is muddled here. Oscar Howe was a preceptor of my father's for art. So my father was very talented. I don't have even 
any of his talent. But when I was younger, three or four, drawing trees, it was like trees, the branches go up, they're not down. <laughs> so I had, I had a little art teacher with me most of my life. Uh, I don't like to do formal art. I, I like to do this stuff now. I enjoy um, doing my, I do pet portraits for my friends when they're, unfortunately, when their pets pass away. I enjoy doing that, but I don't do it for anybody else. I have been asked by many people to do pet portraits. I could probably make a living off pet portraits, but I just, I don't, I can't commit to anything due to my, my head. Um, let's see. I think that's about it. Uh, hopefully you'll like my channel. You'll subscribe and you will um, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. If you have any questions or if you have anything to say or anything like that or, to, you know, any criticism, I don't care. Just go ahead and place it in the comments below. I will always answer your comments. I forget now if I told you I did um, some South Dakota videos too. And I'm going to leave it at that. And my next step when I work on this and hopefully I can get out of this ugly stage and do something interesting. I will video it and hopefully I won't get caught up in my stuff, but I can't guarantee it. And I might just keep the video and you can laugh along with me or at me or whatever. But anyway, that's me and I will see you later. Have a good night or a good morning, whatever time it is that you're watching this and take care.